At 21, Sam seems to have it all together. He's at uni and loving it. But until recently, his life was very different. The future's looking more, be more bright than it used to be. The way is open now. Like I have a road that I can follow, not just uh, wandering around in the dark. Sam's on the disability support pension. He's hearing impaired, and he says it's one of the reasons his life went off the rails four years ago. Yeah, because they do say um, a lot of um, people with hearing impairment do lose their way, and I mean, guys, they start to notice girls, uh, they might to, to feel down because they have their hearing impairment, or they can't really feel like they can talk to them or whatever, and they kind of lose confidence in themselves. I kind of people turned on against me at school and then uh, after a while I eventually looked outside and uh, because I had a car it was easily, it was easy to get into to a bad group because all I had to do was just drive them everywhere and you got your mates and uh, drive around and you get into drugs and drink. Then one day Sam made a decision. He moved back home and started studying psychology. Like and I was working just being a machine, like working in a factory job, just squeezing trays, and, and after a while, I mean, like, uh, you just tell yourself, oh, I've got an education, to, kind of just couldn't stand there day after day, just uh, doing, the, like, making food or whatever. I wanted to make my life mean something, and uh, I just couldn't be out there continuing drugs, and I just decided, yeah, stuff this, I'm going to make a change. Once I started understanding more, once I saw past like all the, the smoke and drug haze like past that wall like I could I could understand more about myself and, and I managed to get more thoughts together and just get up and say that's it. And could lot psychology helped me a lot. For Sam's parents it was a harrowing four years. But in some ways they understood. A lot of people confuse with the people who have hearing impairment, they think that they have other mental problems because they um, they just go into themselves because they can't hear what's going on and and that's what it happens. It just creates, yeah, it creates, creates problems, problems because they're different and that's always been the yeah. thing with Sam. He's just hated being different. It's only early days, but Sam has come some distance already, gaining valuable confidence from trying out different casual jobs. Just a totally different person from the one that came here that really didn't know what he wanted to do and you know was always in a bit of trouble and, and now he's really focused on what he wants to achieve and, and as far as I know he stays out of trouble. Yeah, and really has a goal and he's pushing forward to work towards that and he's doing most of it himself. We're just here you know, providing that support to him when he needs it. Sam's studies led him to volunteering for his local police citizens youth club. Psychology is the one I'm most interested in as I want to work towards uh, getting into forensics and uh, criminal psychology. I applied um, uh, to be um, do an apprenticeship at the police force but um, I didn't have any positions left available and so they directed me over there and if I do well enough for a long enough period of time they eventually offer me an um, apprenticeship in the police force. Now he's helping kids with a disability. Well, it's good um, to help out other people with disability because a lot of ways you can relate to them and uh, you know that, that they want and they need help sometimes and even though to, that they to, don't ask for it uh, or sometimes they just need help. Sam's wild lifestyle has taken its toll on his health recently and he's had to cut back on his studies. But he says there's no going back. You know, Eric said to me one day, this is the happiest we've seen Sam for so long. I'm too scared to think this is going to last. Exactly. I think you can understand what it, what it's like when, when they're having so many problems like that and all you want for them is to be happy and you know, have what everybody else has got. I want to make my life mean something and that's what drives me so like. I'll be able to leave something on this world that's in a good way for a change.